This video will show you the solution to one of the example problems. A particle with a net charge of three electrons travels across two plates separated by five centimeters and connected to a 100 volt power source. The particle is traveling towards a positively charged plate. How much work is done in moving the particle between the plates? So in the upper right, you can see a little diagram that I have. This is a schematic. And the two vertical lines at the top represent the metal plates and wires connect to the battery. The battery is represented by those alternating long and short lines at the bottom. So my charged particle is a little blue dot with a negative sign in it. You can see that the distance between the plates is 5 centimeters and the battery is 100 volts. So let's look at the givens. Start with it tells me I have three electrons, or I have a particle with a charge equal to three electrons. So that's one of my givens, that's Q. Q is equal to three electrons. That means it's 3 times 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. But 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs is the charge of an electron. You can look it up on our constant sheet from class, or you can go online and find it somewhere else. So if I do the math, it comes out to be 4.8 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs for Q. The next thing it tells me is the distance between the plates is 5 centimeters. That's 0.05 meters in SI units. And it also tells me that these two plates are connected to 100 volt power source. Power source is really just a battery, so it's got the 100 volt battery. And notice how the units for volts are capital V. The solution from the reading comes from the, using the math model or the formula. W is equal to QV, so the work is equal to the charge times the voltage. So the work is equal to 4.8 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs times 100 volts. That comes out to be 4.8 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. So that's our answer with standard SI units. However, we can look at converting this over into EVs. EVs were electron volts. So if I do the math, I know that 1 EV is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And when I'm done with the math, it comes out to be 300 electron volts. The cool thing about using electron volts is kind of a math shortcut. I take the number of charges equal to an electron's magnitude. In this case, it had a charge equal to three electrons, my charged particle. Multiply it by the voltage, and that tells me how much energy I have in units of electron volts. See, the, the unit itself tells you the math formula, electron volts. Now, if I take a look at this, let's see if it loses or gains. I've got my charged particle, and it's negative. And the plate on the left is connected to the positive side of the battery. That means the plate on the left is positive. So my charged particle is traveling towards an oppositely charged plate. When it travels towards an oppositely charged plate, it's going to gain energy. So it's going to gain those 300 EVs in this case. Now, if I change this around a little bit and flip my battery over, I can see that the plate on the left is now going around and connecting to the negative side of the battery. This means my negative charge is going towards a negatively charged plate. So instead of gaining energy, it's actually going to lose energy this time. If it's going to make it across these two plates and it's going to lose 300 EVs, then it's got to enter the plates on the right with at least 300 EVs of energy or it's not going to make it across.